Hello there, friends. So today is more building and kind of getting this place figured out. Because right now, yeah, I, I really don't have it figured out. So I've done a couple of things uh, just before I started recording. One was I've been messing around with different ideas for this because I haven't really liked what I saw. So I looked online for a couple of block pallets and I got uh, basically this. Uh, it was this with uh, beehives. So what I went to do, I put a furnace there because I do like the texture of it, but I don't know if it'll really work with the border. So I think that might look a little odd, but it might be able to work. Uh, so what I did is this up here. So I did a couple things. One being that I went and got some turtle eggs with silk touch. Oh, that's the zombie down there. I uh, went and got the turtle eggs with silk touch, and now I'm just waiting for them to hatch, and they are so slow. But, I mean, they are turtles, so it's expected. On top of that, since I wanted to get beehives, I decided to just get some beehives. And with that, that will allow me to get the uh, beehive block, which I forgot was only three. I thought it was six for some reason, so that will come in handy. And I've been slowly breeding these up and getting more of them. I've only got four at the moment. But it's a very slow process. Now, I'm going to be doing this for a hot minute to try and get the blocks that I so desire. Which will be a bit. But also, I did set up another portal. I have not gone through it yet because I wanted to have my genuine fear and terror be the first thing that I show instead of like, well, we went there. We're fine. So I put it over here. Across here and up here. Why did I put it so far away? Mostly to avoid me having to deal with the annoying pigmen. So let's see if the Minecraft gods are going to be good to me. They probably won't because the Minecraft gods been known to hate me. Oh! Scratch that. Oh, even better. Oh, oh, even way better. Okay. We got Warped and uh, the Red Ones. I'm totally spacing on the frickin' name, but... Oh, it's awesome. Okay, cool. Because the warped is one of my favorites to use. So while we're here, let's grab a touch of red uh, nether brick. And definitely grab some quartz. Ouch. Okay. This is beautiful. However, I don't, I, the only thing I don't like is having to go through the, uh, forest. Because hoglins are very mean. And they hit like a truck. So, this is great though. I was really, I was scared that it would be in a, uh, a soul sand valley. Because those are terrifying. Well, at the very least, this is a start on the gold farm. That is something, at least. Okay. Okay, so it's safe to say this just kind of keeps on going. Oh, right. Oh, that's why. So I'm going to get these, light this area up a bit. And I'm not going to worry too much about the, uh, getting the woods at the moment. But this is great. Okay. Sweet! That's beautiful. I was really hoping to be something like that. So. I don't need that there. I'll be getting plenty of sheep here soon. I want to get fortune before I break open the nether quartz, 
because, well, I want to try and get as much as I can for the bit of redstone I do want to do early on. One being a sheep farm, the other being an actual honey farm, and the other just general minor redstone-ness that I would like to do. Now, with all of that said, oh yeah, and I set down uh, some sugarcane. So it's going to be a hot minute for me to get the bees, uh, the beehives and stuff that I need. Which will probably be a good reason to actually build my first redstone farm for these deals. I know they're not complicated, but I don't have a lot of redstone. Actually, redstone is not the problem. It's the, uh, the quartz is probably the biggest problem right now. Since I can't break down blor blorks? Quartz blocks. Blorks quartz is what I was about to say. I'm not tired. You're tired. Okay. And I will definitely be working or looking at doing a uh, storage system soon because it's getting a bit out of it's getting a, a bit redonkulous. So on top of that, I do I did decide what I want to do over here. Instead of closing this off, I do want to actually have this open. So we will. Uh, get the floor set, and then I'm going to put rails instead of these, the stairs. And as far as the floor goes, I'm torn. What if we do something like this? Oh, I need the, need the glowstone. So now I do like the brick block. I think the texture and everything is really cool. However, it's a lot. And that's kind of the thing. I don't want to have... I... I I guess I want to make it minimal. Do minimalistic brick, I guess is the only way I can really describe it to myself. So we're going to take out the brick floor. I might put it in like as a strip or something like that, but I don't want to have it as the main theme or as the main block down here. Even with the granite and stuff, it just doesn't quite... It's just a lot is kind of the only way I can put it. So if we do that... Put these in here for now. Don't really need that. So let's do this. Okay. Now, I'm not sure. So let's do that. So this is regular. And then. Okay, so I think I almost like the dark oak better than the spruce for the flooring. I'm really trying to not do exactly what I've done before, so I'm, I'm trying to think more here. there, put that there. Did I have a... Oh yeah, I just put torches on this. Uh, yeah. So let's put the dark oak through there. Let's do the same thing, though. Let's do the same thing, though, with the bricks. I do like the brick stairs. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I think that is a solid idea. Or, I hope it's a solid idea. Let's put it that way. Okay. Wrong everything. Wow. All right. Now what I do think I want to do is put a bottom section down here. That way I don't have to worry about falling over and over again. So, for some reason, after that last clip, 
the footage just basically froze. It, it I don't know. It, it wouldn't actually move, so I don't, I don't really know what happened. <laughs> but I didn't really do a whole lot more in that clip. I actually have done quite a bit off camera because I've been working on another project uh, for another channel that I do. And well, in between stuff, I've, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been doing some stuff. So let's show you the stuff that I've been doing. Uh, I finally figured out a bloody pattern that I liked. I'm unsure about... Well, okay, I like the brick in this case over here. I still need to do a ceiling, obviously. But I did the brick in the middle, because I think that would work. And then I'm putting beehives all around the edge here. Which I think is working quite well. You know, when I actually get the beehives. The only problem that I'm having is that... While all of the uh, the sides here work well, except for like stuff like that, uh, it doesn't always match up perfectly. So like right there, you've got the oak logs, and if I were to do that here, it's going to kind of mess up this area. However, it could actually help in this case because I have a random one just down here. So what I'd probably do is add on to this and do like a. I don't know, a, uh, like this goes to the farming area, which actually I do want to work on at some point. Uh, and this over here was a bit weird because, well, it didn't really, it didn't really work that well. So the only thing I could do here was either add those or do I, do I have stairs on me? No, of course I don't. That'd be too convenient. However, I do like the design overall. There's just a couple things that don't quite, uh, don't quite mesh, as, uh, as I'm going to say. Grab three. I mean, I think it looks okay. It doesn't have a support like that one does, but I don't think it really needs it since that has a... That support is for, you know, since it's holding up this side. And I haven't done anything down below yet, since I've just been trying to get the frickin' beehives. Now, I think I've decided where I want to put everything, which has been confusing. Now, over here, I want to put the storage. So let me grab a sign so I can actually mark stuff. Make it all official, even though I can change signs very easily. But we're just going to ignore that fact and make it more official. I, I had, like, two signs. There you are. You bugger. Yay. Isn't that a great storage room? And then over here... I figured out where I want to put the trading hall. I think... I'm pretty sure I mentioned it previously. So up here next to, I, I'm going to fix, fix these guys because I don't, I don't like they're trampling the crops, even though it's really not a huge deal because they can still breed. It's just annoying. Uh, I want to put the villager trading hall over here. So the game plan is to essentially have a villager selector, basically. So I would grab a villager that has been bred from, you know, over here or something and have the minecart travel up to here. And then from there, after I get his profession that I need, it would, uh, I would be able to put them in the appropriate area. Now I had explained before that I have an idea of a previous trading hall that I've done. I don't think I still have if I have pictures, I'll show them on screen, but I don't think I have the pictures anymore. I'm like 98% certain that I don't, but it was a three story trading hall with in the middle. It was the iron trades. Top was the book trades and bottom was kind of miscellaneous trades that I wanted to get. Like there was leather for saddles. There was the uh, uh, clerics. And a handful of, like shepherds and whatnot. So it was pretty cool, and I was really proud of it. 
It still kills me that I don't have that world anymore. Uh, just to look at, because it was really cool. So, the villager trading hall... Villager trading hall. Yay! And then, I do want to have a cactus farm. Somewhere. Since cactus farm isn't really pretty, I don't really care about having it shown. But I want to be able to have the bone meal, like, to grab. So I need to figure out where I want to put it. And I do have, like I said, I can do like a farming area through one of these walls over here. Or I can just essentially hide it somewhere and then have the output, you know, like right here. Still going to figure that out, but I at least have an idea for the storage and the trading hall. As far as the bees go, I'm not 100% sure. Because I don't know if I want to put them in their own, you know, uh, area. Which I think I might do. Uh, might do a farming area that way so I can have all my farms in one area. Hence the farming area. And I haven't been back to the nether just yet. Uh, yeah, so I have been gathering up some redstone components for the bee farm. I might go with the Shulkercraft one, but there's like a plethora of them just because I want to get something built and figured out. And I will try and do a time lapse of it to get that done. I've gotten quite a few bees. This, I, yeah, I've been, I've been at work trying to get the bees. I just need the automation for it. So, I've gotten turtles as well. I've gotten more turtle eggs, so I can actually do a gold farm. I can do a gold farm here pretty soon, along with some bartering, so I can actually get quartz, which would be great. Uh, copper has been aging like a champ. It's still incredibly slow, just like turtles. So I think the main thing I want to have done today is a bee farm, because, well, I'm going to be using beehives in the future. Not only for this build, but I'm sure I'll be using it for patterns or something like that uh, at another point. So we might as well just get that done. It's just a matter of finding where I want to put it. So if we have a farming area... Now, I don't intend to make the bee farm like super duper pooper scooper massive or crazy functional. Well, crazy like efficient. But I think I do like the idea of having like one of these wings branch off into a uh, farming deal. I want to put a torch right there. Right there. There we go. I could also put it down here, which would be an option. But I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Because what I would do. I would come out here, go down. But I, I... My only concern with going out there too soon is that I would just kind of feel the added pressure. Because I still need to do the bloody ceiling in here. Which, again, will be interesting to try and figure out. So I still have to figure that. But... I think that's what I'll do, is I'll try digging out through here. So let's go from here. Ooh, do I have oak, oak logs? I think I used all my oak logs. See, this is why I need to get a storage system going. But I really want to get those bees going, so it's a, it's a toss-up. All right. I need to put these tree down. Oh, hi, friends. Nope. Not today, Satan. Not today. Well, I am going to get started on digging this. Because, well, I kind of need to. But I will bring you back when I get something of, well, notice. I might do a time lapse. Because I do enjoy my time lapses. Even though I haven't done many. But I do enjoy time lapses. So I will see you shortly. So before I start doing uh, the building of the honey farm, I realized I need dispensers. And for dispensers, I need string. 
because I need bows. And there's two ways to do this. I can either A, make my skelly spawner a skelly farm and do that. But I have a quicker way because in the last episode, we found a spider spawner, which I've never actually dealt with, but I'm not going to make anything really crazy with this. So my idea is incredibly basic. It's just to have them fall on a bunch of hoppers and I just stand there and collect what I can get. So I can't remember exactly the depth that I need to get it to, but it doesn't really matter just so long as they die. So that is the game plan here because, well, I want to be sure that they die. Because I just need the string. I'm not too worried about spider eyes at the moment. And I can always find other ways to get those or I can convert this later. But right now I just need the string. And this would be a lot easier to build than a full-on skelly, skelly spawner farm, I, I think. I guess we'll find out. I'm sure I'll find some way to make it more difficult. But that is the game plan right now. So I'm going to start digging this out. I think it's an 8x8 eight eight is what you want. I can't remember exactly. Alright. Let's get a slab. There we go. Okay. Just put that right there. Alright, so I think it's a 4x4. Four four. Well, you go 4 on each side. So this needs to go out 2. This needs to go out 1. This needs to go out 1. Okay. And like I said, I'm really just going to make this a... They fall on hoppers and I collect the string. Because that's really all I want from them. Let's see how hard I can make this for myself, because I'm sure I'll find some way to bugger it up. So I just spotted a little surprise over here. A dungeon! A zombie dungeon! <laughs> Hey friends, how you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, and a... And a okay. <laughs> That's... Hi, Creeper. We're just gonna run back into here. Okay. Oh, diamond horse. Oh, and more string. This is great. So in that uh, little AFK session, I got like a stack and a half of string, which is quite nice. Diamond horse armor for the horsey. Okay, this is... this is fabulous. I could just make a cheapo one and just kind of have these guys filtered over to here and just kill them, but... Cool! This is something that I will definitely look into using, because... Well, I can do something with it. I don't know what, but I can do something. So, we have... String for the bows, and I don't have any room in my inventory, so It's a very simple and I don't think the replay mod is going to actually save because eh, my computer is special Let's just put it that way Tis a very easy system. They spawn they fall their stuff gets collected It's it's of course not very fast Bam see just like that I think it's like one to four is going to spawn. But yeah. Now I just need five or so 
I can, it's a, apparently an expandable bee farm because bee farms are pretty expandable. And let's hop up here. And let's not do that. That is the first time I've actually failed that bad. There we go. Oh, wow. I usually land right there, too. So that's cool. All right. So now that we have the strings and the bows, I can make... Okay, I don't, I don't need 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Let's just go with the 5 for now. Oh, sweet Mother Teresa. Oh, my poor inventory. Guess what we're doing next episode. <laughs> it's going to be a crazy idea, but I think I'm going to actually work on the bloody storage room. Because, uh, yeah, this is getting a bit absurd. So I'm going to get this gathered and grabbed and such. Yeah, and I'm going to bring the materials over to this area. So I figured out that just through here, if you go through here and then follow this path down, and you go to right here, I mean, not here, but over here. If I dig this way, I should hit the cave itself. So that would be a nifty way to get into the cave. So what I want to do is I want to have this back wall be the bee farm. Now, as far as... Uh, if if the replay model actually saved from the spider farm, I'm not holding up much help right now. But if it was shown, hopefully it was cool. It's just digging a hole, so it may not be the coolest thing you ever saw. Alright, so I'm going to grab everything, get it over there, and start building. And I don't think I'll be able to do a replay mod, because my computer hates me. But, yeah. So I'm going to get that built and get it figured out. Because I'm very ready to have automatic beehives. Very ready. Alright, let me uh, get this knocked out. So I let this run overnight and... I'll put the farm that I used down below. But I only changed... So I changed the flowers in the original design. He had it to where you had a door over here and you had flowers on the ground. Now, I'm not sure if my change to put the azalea bush made a big difference or not, but I noticed that the honeycomb or honey was landing on the bush. So I had to add in this cart for the minecart to actually get it going. And needless to say, it's worth game busters. Now, thankfully, that means that I can finish off uh, around this area, which has been driving me bonkers. Because I have the honeycomb. Okay, it was honeycomb. But I need more wood. Now, with that built, the other thing I want to work on is definitely storage. Because this is just getting absurd. And it's just growth. Just a big bunch of grossness. So what we're going to do is going to, well, work on it. I know, crazy. Now I could put glass bottles in there, but I just, I don't have enough glass bottles. So I'm not too worried about it right now. Eventually when I do a raid farm or something, I'll end up doing something like that. But I'll, in the future, end up moving this probably. Or at least, you know redecorating or rebuilding it or something. So let's get this laid out. Oops. Finally, I need more wood than I do honeycomb. Which is great, because for the longest time it's been the other way around. So I installed a... Uh, a data pack that allows me to see how many bees were in the the honey hive, the beehive. But apparently, when you place it down and break it, it changes the tag or the NPT or something. 
so it doesn't make it stackable. Which is mildly annoying, but hey. It's the price we pay, right? Now, I don't know if I want to continue the brick into here, or if I want to continue with the beehives. I think I like the beehive the beehives better for continuing the pathway and just have the brick as the center for the farming area. And then that can kind of be my I guess determination for what room it is in a way. The beehives would be the general uh, change while the bricks are for farming. I don't know. Either way, I am so happy about this. I love how it looks. And yeah, I'm thrilled. So I'm going to get started on the storage because I, well, I really don't know. I know the basics of what I want, but I don't really have a set plan other than the storage room. That's about it. So I'm going to get working on this and I'll bring it back for a checkup and show you what I got. So I didn't realize how long the video was getting, but uh, well, I want to show you what I've done with the storage room so far. Here we are. I have basic ideas. Like I figure I'll want to have a lot of, a lot of storage for the stuff that I know I'm going to have a lot of, like stone. Now, I personally love to use smooth stone for like farms and whatnot. And the cactus farm I'm going to build is going to require a lot of smooth stone. And yeah, so this side is just the stone and whatnot. And I'll figure out what I'm going to put in all the chests and and all that fun jazz. But this is this will start to uh, clear up. I kill a phantom who was trying to take me down. And then next episode, uh, I think it's time to work on the villager trading hall, because, well, um, I, I get, don't really need to hear all the hmm, hmm, all day long. So I need to figure out the where I'm going to put everything and whatnot, and how I'm going to organize this, because, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure if this is going to be bulk storage on this side as well, like, you know, dirt and other stuff or what. But currently, I'm liking how the idea, the other thing I want to get is warped, uh, the blue logs from the nether. I think it's warped logs because I think that'd be a cool little thing in the background since it moves. I think it'd be kind of cool to have that behind all this. However, if I want to automate this in the future, I would be getting rid of all that. So, either way, for now, I I would really just like to have... For now, I think it would just be a cool thing to have in the background. And if I really want to automate this in the future, I can. But that is the general idea now, and that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you did enjoy. I am going to AFK for some string and plan some other things, but I will see you in the next one. Do take care of yourself. Toodles.